Hey guys, today's video is about sleeves that Silky Socks carries. Yep, compression sleeves that are fully sublimatable, head to toe that we carry. I'm going to explain all of that to you guys. Because I don't know if you know, but we carry arm sleeves, leg sleeves, calf sleeves. So I got arm, leg, calf. What's next? Spats. These are cleat covers, but I don't got no cleats on right now, so you're just gonna have to imagine the cleat covers. And these are called leg warmers. They're a fleece material, similar to our calf sleeves, but made of like fleece, whereas this is made of that compression sporty material like our arm sleeves. So guys, now you see it. I got them all on. Let's talk about it a little more. Alright guys, so before I sublimate this for you, let's take a detailed look at all these blanks. Here is the arm sleeve. It's basically an 84% uh, polyester, 16% spandex. All of these are going to be uh, about an 85-15 or a 90-10 polyester spandex blend. And now here's the, the arm sleeve, so it's it's got a seam here, you can just sublimate right over that. It doesn't have uh, any other obstructions or anything major going on here. It's just a nice, simple, compression style athletic arm sleeve. This is good for those hoopers, basketball players, baseball players, football players that want some protection on the elbow, or just for swag, which you'll see here when we sublimate. Then our calf sleeve, as you saw me wearing, is made up of the same thing, just kind of shaped for your calf. So you can wear this um, if you wanted that sleeve, which will go kind of under your knee between uh, kind of like the top of the kneecap or the bottom of the kneecap to inside your sock. So that's where the calf sleeve will cover. Then this one's a little different. This is our leg sleeve. And so this does have a rubber grip on the interior. This kind of uh, black band you see here, very stretchy and durable. But what's nice about this is this will help hold it on my thigh because uh, when we were developing this product, when we didn't have this, it was sagging down too much. So this grip will hold uh, the, 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 the garment onto the athlete's thigh. So you definitely like that. And what's cool is you can sublimate right over. It's not gonna burn the grip. So when you, when you lay this item down, sublimate it just like you would our arm sleeve, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. And it's got the, the seam. And the beautiful thing about all these items, guys, is we do not require a jig. You just lay it down and press. You don't even really need to pre-press or do anything crazy. Um, you just literally lay it down and press. So, which you'll see here. The next one I want to show you is the leg warmers. So if you can get a close up here, it's got a fleecy kind of material, like a hoodie. Um, so we wanted to give you guys something in the winter, you know, to wear. Uh, girls like this kind of stuff, maybe to wear over their pants, over their leggings, or over their jeans. Or just if you're wearing, uh, let's say you're wearing a skirt or shorts, you can kind of swag it out with some a design on the leg warmers, all right? And then lastly, the cleat covers, the spats. I have another video where it breaks these down all the way, but it is a little oddly shaped. Uh, this is where your heel goes, um, and then this thing after it's sublimated, you kind of, you put, you put this part on, and then you put your shoe, your cleat on, and then you kind of slide it over. So we do break down a full video of the spats on the YouTube channel, which you can find. Uh, we'll put that in the description for you if you wanted. And those are the five styles of sleeves we carry. Y'all ready to sublimate? Let's do it. Okay, guys, now I have my arm sleeve on the press. I've got this transfer sheet here. It says shooter. And it's got a nice tie-dye effect. We're gonna see how it comes out. Looks good to me. So I just lay it down and press. I've got my heat press set to 400 degrees, 55 seconds, because I was doing uh, like a shirt earlier. But I think I'm only gonna require about 30 to 35 seconds. Yeah, so about 35 seconds on high high pressure because it is kind of a, a thin item. Uh, so you do want nice high pressure. So we'll see how that comes out. I think my pressure is set to about medium right now. And give it a few more seconds and then I'll raise that press up. 
All right, that was about 35 seconds. Let's see if that did it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. I love it. Look at that, so vibrant, so nice. So guys, like, like I said, you didn't see me do a pre-press or put a jig in there or anything. You literally just uh, wanna have a transfer sheet that covers all four sides top, bottom, left, and right. Uh, we do have templates on silkysocks.com in the resources section if you need. If you wanted to, you could just measure the height and width and make your own simple template with the sleeve on it. All right? So, let's do the other side. Here is side two, same transfer sheet. The only thing you wanna make sure you remember is like, if you're doing text and you want them to be facing the same way when the player is wearing them, one is gonna kinda of go like this, shooter, and the other one is gonna come down like this, shooter. So you're gonna use the same file, but when you flip your arm sleeve, you basically flip it in a way where you flip it horizontally. So now, as I write shooter on this side, it's going to kind of be opposite of the shooter text on the other side. Um, but that way one's not upside down and one's right side up kind of thing. All right, let's see if this goes. Just basically center the word. Press. Again, I've got it set to 400 degrees, 55 seconds, but I'm only gonna give it 35 seconds, all right? So if you wanna put, if notate the settings, write down 400 degrees, 35 seconds. SilkySocks.com, baby, we out of here. Let's go. Drop us a comment, show us some love, give us a like. Tell me in the comments what your favorite Silky Socks item is. I wanna know. Tell me if you've tried our socks before, our face masks, and if you haven't tried our sleeves, Now's the time, guys. Let's go. All right, time is up. Give my fingers a little breathing room here. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, same result. Loving it. It's a little hot. Before I throw this up 400 degrees on my arm, I gotta give me give me a little time here. But I would I do want to point out, look at that. The sublimation is right over the seam, like I was saying. Uh, it's gonna print right over that. We engineered these to be like as close to a cut and sew garment as possible without having to do cut and sew. Look at that. Beautiful, no line, no nasty white line on the sides. And like I said, I didn't do any roll technique or any jigs or any flips or anything like that. Let me go ahead and throw that on. Boom. Look at that. So vibrant. So nice. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. That is beautiful. Shooter. Nice big text on both arms. This is what I was talking about. So. The S is here, but on this side it's the R. But if I work, so it says shooter here, and then you see it starts down here and it says shooter. But that way if I was playing ball and I'm running, like it's not, neither side is upside down. See that? Man, I might have to wear this to the gym tomorrow. The shooter is in the building. Let's get it. But if I was playing, I'd probably put it on my left arm and then that way I could still have full, you know, not feel like I need to have this on my shooting arm, but hey, that's besides the point. So guys, that's about it for this video. If you make the leg sleeves, calf sleeves, um, and leg warmers, they're gonna sublimate the exact same way. The only one that's a little different is the spats. And other than that, do join our Facebook group Sublimation with Silky Socks, where you're gonna see all kinds of behind the scenes with us. and 
Hit up silkysocks.com in the blank section if you want to buy some blanks that I showed you today. Do set up a wholesale account so you get 50% off. Anybody can get set up. There's no barrier. You just have to fill out a simple uh, little five, six uh, line application. You don't have to have a seller's license or anything like that. So just uh, go ahead and get that taken care of and you'll get 50% off all our blanks or you can shop on our sales from time to time, which we do throw and announce in the Facebook group. All right, other than that, bless your business, bless your feet, let's keep hustling, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Let's get it.